Will you believe me if I told you that there were sharks living inside a volcano? It is hard to believe, but it is true. In a rare footage, it has been confirmed that there were sharks, hammerheads and a stingray living inside an active volcano. Hello students, welcome to Drishti IAS. In today's session, we'll talk about the Kawachi volcano where these sightings have been found and we'll also try to figure out the reasons behind sharks surviving in these hostile conditions. So let's get started. Now before we do that, I want to quickly take you through this exciting new launch that we have. You know we have the Studio GS Foundation live online course and the admissions to this course are already opened. Now this is an extremely beneficial course because your complete UPSC preparation, complete UPSC syllabus of prelims and beans is going to be covered only in rupees 24,999 and that is not all. If in the future you wish to join our foundation, offline foundation batch, the complete fees is going to be adjusted in the offline foundation batch fees, which means that this course will turn out to be free for those students who wish to join our offline foundation batch in the future. So hurry, don't wait, enroll yourselves in this exciting course. You can call us at 87501-87501 for more information. Now let us get back to our topic. We were talking about the Kavachi volcano. Now this is the volcano where these sightings have been confirmed and this is an active volcano. It is an active volcano. It is located in the Southwest Pacific Ocean. Southwest Pacific Ocean. And as you can see, it is located in the Pacific Ring of Fire. This is an active volcano. It is a submarine volcano a shallow, a shallow submarine volcano located in the southwest Pacific Ocean. Now all these locations become extremely important for you, especially for the prelims examination. They can be asked in the match the following format. If we zoom in further to look into this location in detail, it is located in the Solomon Sea near the Solomon Islands and to the south of Vangunu islands. We have the Vangunu island here. To the south of this we have the Kawachi, Kawachi volcano. And I told you this is an active volcano. The first eruption happened in 1939. And what kind of uh, megafauna, marine megafauna do we see here? So we saw silky sharks, hammerheads and even a stingray. Now this diverse megafauna, these large creatures basically they are not meant to survive in these hostile conditions. What are those hostile conditions? So this is an active volcano and I told you these diverse animals, these diverse creatures they were basically found in the caldera of the volcano. What is a caldera? Caldera is a depression that is formed when a violent eruption happens, when all the lava escapes the magma chamber and the roof collapses because it is not able to tolerate the violent eruption. The roof collapses and a depression is formed with steep walls. These are the steep walls. And in here, we have seen these sharks, we have seen these hammerheads. Now this is an extremely hostile environment because I'm talking about an active volcano over here. It is very hot, right? It is very hot. It is very acidic. And it is also very turbid. And all these conditions are not conducive for large creatures. Only small creatures like microbes or microorganisms can survive in these hostile conditions. But it is not meant for large creatures to survive. But as an exception, we see that these sharks, these hammerheads and a stingray was spotted inside an active volcano. Now what can be some of the possible reasons for that? Now the reasons over here are, the most important one is that it appears or these creatures, they appear in the intermittent phases. This is an active volcano, but it erupts in phases. There is a calm phase, then there's an active phase and a calm phase and an active phase. So we have seen all these creatures inside the caldera in the 
Khan phase. It erupts in intermittent phases. So it was not during an eruption. The sightings were not found during an eruption. This was seen during a calm phase. But again, this becomes extremely important, becomes exceptional because the conditions, even though some normal seawater would have entered the caldera, even though they will not be as, uh, you know, as conducive as they should have been under normal situations, it is still hot, it is still uh, turbid, it is going to be still acidic in nature, though it is going to be diluted by the normal seawater that flows in. But it is basically found that all these sightings have been confirmed during the calm phases. And if we talk about the ecosystem over here, how are these sharks surviving? So maybe these sharks, they have built a chemosynthetic, chemosynthetic ecosystem for themselves. A chemosynthetic ecosystem meaning that all these microbes, these microbes are basically going to feed on the lava, on the ash and then the fish is going to feed on these microbes and then these large creatures are going to feed on the fish. So a chemosynthetic ecosystem might have been developed in this region and certain physiological adaptations, adaptations would also have happened in these sharks. Now what's astonishing for the scientists over here is that how do these sharks get to know that an eruption is going to happen? They are basically living under a potential threat at all times. How do they find out that a volcano is going to erupt? When do they flee the location? So this is uncertain at the moment. There might be certain adaptations that would have happened, certain sensory adaptations that would have happened, vibrations or anything could have been generated. All these things are being studied at the moment. We do not know what is the exact reason reason behind these things but there's definitely this uh, this uh, you know anticipation that all these creatures are going to flee the location whenever an eruption is going to happen they're basically sighted in the calm phases of the volcano so this is what's happening it is exceptional it is unique in itself because this is an active volcano we do not know how these creatures flee the location but they are basically found and it is very unusual for all these uh, megafauna such large creatures to be found inside a volcano it is shallow in uh, the depths it is basically shallow not located inside deep inside the seawater that is also one of the reasons that these sharks can be sighted but let us wait and watch whenever this unfolds the mystery unfolds as to how these creatures find out that eruption is going to happen and they flee the location so that was all for this video i hope you enjoyed the discussion over here now let us practice a question for prelims consider the following statements regarding kawachi volcano one Kavachi is an active submarine volcano located in the Solomon Island region. Two, it is one of the shallowest active submarine volcanoes, making it accessible to marine megafauna. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? A, one only, B, two only, C, both one and two, or D, neither one, not two. Please attempt this question and provide your answers in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Introducing Drishti IAS Everyday Wear, the casual jacket, and the polo neck t-shirt, perfect for everyday and casual wear. Shop now on the Drishti Learning app and Flipkart by link in the description. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.